Hi everyone, um, the video today is going to be about the relationship between codependence and narcissists and why these two different traumatized personalities are so attracted to each other and I'm going to talk about the, the general dynamics and characteristics of this relationship and how um, a codependent can break free from a narcissist. So stay tuned. So, why are codependents attracted to narcissists and why are narcissists attracted to codependents? Um, a codependent is somebody who is a people pleaser and likes fixing somebody who isn't quite balanced in their emotional makeup. And a narcissist is a taker and a controller. So these two um, different personalities are quite distinct, quite opposite, but they are very balanced because one of them gives and the other one takes. Codependence always sacrifice and give and they always cater to the needs and desires of others. They don't really know how to emotionally disconnect from romantic relationships and they don't know um, how to choose safe partners. This is something that comes from their childhood because they had a certain level of um, child abuse or child neglect and they didn't have healthy love sort of portrayed by their care you know the primary caregivers and that is why they will always go and choose somebody who is emotionally distant who is abusive who is controlling so the narcissist or emotionally distant partner represents the same sort of environment that the codependent grew up in as a child Codependents are also um, usually very passive and quite submissive as people. So if you think about a narcissist, narcissists are very egocentric, they're very selfish, they are very controlling and manipulative, they like taking from people, they're not able to love unconditionally, they don't have empathy. Um, if you think about these two together, then it makes sort of perfect sense that they will end up in a relationship together. There's like this intense sort of um, excitement at the beginning of a relationship between a codependent and a narcissist. The codependent finds the narcissist um, very, very alluring. The narcissist is very, very good at love bombing the, the codependent. So giving the codependent all this attention and making big promises about the future. So the codependent gets hooked. And then suddenly when the narcissist turns on the codependent and starts showing the real person that they are, the codependent is very disappointed, but always hopes that the narcissist will become the nice person that they got to know at the beginning of the relationship. And they will continue to stay with the narcissist, hoping that the narcissist will um, change and become that person that they first met and they will help the narcissist to improve their behavior um, they will advise the narcissist on how to be um, a bit more caring again um, but this won't happen and it just continues and continues Codependents usually confuse caretaking and sacrifice with loyalty and love. They yearn to be loved, but their choice of partner makes sure that they will never realize their dreams of unconditional love. They just swallow their unhappiness and do they just sort of continue in relationships with narcissists because they don't ever feel attracted to anybody healthy. They can't be attracted to anybody healthy because a healthy person isn't something that's familiar to them. 
If you were a child abused by really nasty parents that constantly belittled you, that, that withdrew affection, that neglected you, then this is what you consider to be love. This is what you learned. So as you grow older and you become an adult, you will then also seek out partners that resemble your family of origin because humans are creatures of comfort and habit and we will always go for what we know, for what we know is comfortable. For a codependent to break out of a relationship with a narcissist is a very difficult thing. This is only possible if the codependent realizes that there's a pattern in their um, relationships and their choices when they realize that, okay, wait a minute, how is it I'm allowing people to treat me in such a bad way? You know, how is it that my friends have happy, healthy relationships? And they respect each other and I can see that their relationship is different to mine. If you start questioning things, then as a codependent, you will be able to break free from a relationship with a narcissist. But this is only possible if you have therapy. Now, therapy is very important, especially because um, it will deal with the source of the problem, which is most likely, like I said, the abuse or the neglect that you suffered in your childhood. It will deal with the trauma, it will help you grieve the childhood that you, you know, you didn't have as a codependent. I mean, also in a way, narcissists would also grieve a lost childhood because narcissists are also just as traumatized as codependents. Unfortunately, though, narcissists will never seek therapy. Narcissists think that there's nothing wrong with them and they're not able to have any self insight. So they will just continue being how they are. Whereas a codependent, for, for a codependent, there is the possibility of healing. There is the chance of getting better because they're able to have self-insight at some point. So practice self-care, look after yourselves, guys. If there's any questions or anything at all you would like to ask me, then let me know. Thank you very much for um, your attention today. Take care and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.